Hey everybody, you know how people always say they found God? Well, in Virginia, it's more like God found and decided to build some seriously impressive churches. We're talking stained glass that'll make your eyes water, and not just from the incense. And architecture so nice, even atheists will be saying amen. So buckle up those Bible belts, because we're about to take a trip through the top five historic churches in Virginia that you absolutely got to see. First up, we're headed to Williamsburg, where the ghosts of presidents past roam the halls of Bruton Parish Church. This isn't just any old church. It's a living, breathing piece of American history. Built in 1715, this beauty has seen it all, from fiery sermons to royal rumps in its pews. The architecture alone is a testament to the craftsmanship of the 18th century. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Patrick Henry, the whole gang used to hang out here. These aren't just names in a history book. They were real people who sat in these very pews. They even had their own special pews marked with nameplates, a silent reminder of the great minds that once occupied them. And get this, the church is still active today. Every Sunday, the congregation gathers just as they have for over three centuries. Imagine sitting in the same place where the seeds of American independence were sown. It's a humbling experience. After you soak in all that history, take a stroll around the grounds. The churchyard is a peaceful place, perfect for reflection. The cemetery alone is like a who's who of colonial Virginia. Many notable figures are buried here. They're gravestones telling the stories of lives lived long ago. So, whether you're a history buff, a spiritual seeker, or just someone looking for a unique experience, Bruton Parish Church has something to offer. Next stop, Richmond, a city brimming with history, culture, and a vibrant community spirit. Home of the famous St. John's Church, a cornerstone of American history. This is the very place where Patrick Henry delivered his electrifying, give me liberty or give me death, speech. They even have a plaque marking the exact spot where he stood, a silent witness to a moment that changed the course of history. St. John's Church isn't just about one speech though. It's a treasure trove of American heritage. Step inside and you'll find that the church is practically oozing history from every corner. Guided tours and interactive exhibits make the experience even more engaging. As the sun sets over Richmond, you can't help but feel a deep sense of connection to the past. All right, let's head on over to Alexandria, shall we? Specifically to Christ Church, a true architectural gem. Seriously, this place is fancy. We're talking soaring ceilings, gleaming mahogany, and enough stained glass to make a kaleidoscope jealous. George Washington himself was a member here. In fact, they still have his pew roped off. Apparently, even in death, you can't escape the velvet ropes of celebrity. But hey, at least you can sit in the pew behind him. Just imagine, you could be sitting right where George Washington once dozed off during a particularly long sermon. Don't worry, I won't tell. And if you visit at sunset, the church looks even more magical. The light streaming through the stained glass is simply breathtaking. Plus, there are plenty of historical artifacts to check out. So, take your time and soak in the history. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're headed to Norfolk to visit St. Paul's Episcopal Church. This place has a story to tell, and it's a bit of a tearjerker. You see, the original church was built in 1739, but then the Revolutionary War happened. And well, let's just say the British weren't too keen on preserving historical landmarks. They burned it down. But here's the thing about Virginians. We're a resilient bunch. They rebuilt St. Paul's and it's more beautiful than ever. Plus, they kept one of the cannonballs lodged in the wall as a reminder of that time the British tried to rain on their parade. Talk about holding a grudge. Today, St. Paul's stands not just as a place of worship, but as a symbol of resilience and history. Visitors from all over come to see this remarkable church. Whether you're a history buff or just looking for a beautiful place to reflect, St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Norfolk is a must visit. Last but not least, we're finishing our tour in Irvington at Historic Christ Church. Now I know what you're thinking. Another Christ Church? How many churches named Christ could there be? Well, in Virginia, apparently a lot. But trust me, this one's worth a visit. Built in 1735, it's one of the most well-preserved colonial churches in the country. We're talking original brick walls, hand-hewn beams, and yes, even those charmingly uneven cobblestone floors. Just watch your step, okay? 
The last thing you want is to twist an ankle while admiring the craftsmanship. Oh, and keep an eye out for the 17th century tombstones in the churchyard. They're practically works of art themselves. So take your time and enjoy every detail. Well, there you have it, the top five historic churches in Virginia. Each one of these churches is a treasure trove of history, offering a unique glimpse into the past. Whether you're a history buff, a lover of architecture, or just someone looking for a peaceful place to reflect, these churches have something for everyone. That'll have you saying amen to history. From presidential pews to intricate woodwork and stained glass windows, these churches are living museums. To Revolutionary War cannonballs embedded in their walls, these churches offer a glimpse into the past that's both tangible and awe-inspiring. So next time you're in Virginia, ditch the theme parks and outlet malls. Instead, take a step back in time and explore these historical gems. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome Virginia content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep exploring and stay curious.